Um, is it hard to manage uh, this way? Because most of your employees are probably at home, I assume. So what have you learned about how to manage your company? It's a gigantic company. How hard is it to manage in this uh, manner? I think we've all adapted pretty well to communicating, whether it's on Zoom or Skype or by phone. I think everyone has been struck, and I don't think this is unique to Cargill, uh, but it, that it can be done. I miss the face-to-face -face interaction. Uh, I saw a couple of people in, in the office today, and it was almost startling to see some other faces other than the ones that you know, you're sequestered with. Um, and I think you know, part of our culture has been the, the social relationships that develop over a, in a company over, we we're 155 years old. So I miss that aspect of it, but you know, the building that I'm in today has capacity for 2,500 people. I, I don't think we'll ever see that many people in the building again. I think some people are gonna decide, you know what, I like working at home. I can be effective. I can you know, get my work done at my home computer, my home laptop or PC and be perfectly effective. But I think there are some people that just will wanna to continue to have the social interaction when they feel safe. But I think that's been one of the biggest takeaways is technology has performed very well and you can be effective in your job and most jobs are working remotely. Uh, the ones who wanna stay at home in the future may not be ones with small kids and dogs, but that's sure. another matter. So let me ask you, um, if you have uh, the ability to bring all your employees back, I guess you will do so but I'm told that some CEOs say, and now I, I don't need as many employees as I thought I did before, and maybe I won't bring them all back. Is that something you think is a prevalent view in the CEO community that you can downsize in the future? I don't think it's a prevalent view today. And you know, Minneapolis, St. Paul is unique and we've got roughly 20 Fortune 500 sized public and private companies headquartered in, this, in the Twin Cities community. So, there's a lot of conversation about you know, resuming work and, and uh, physical distancing and when to do it. The state of Minnesota, our stay at home order expires on Monday the 4th. And I don't think there's any headquarters company here in Minneapolis, St. Paul, that is gonna open the doors and say, everybody come back. We're all you know, thinking about how do we do this? How do we have intelligence sequencing? What steps do we need to take? Whether it's temperature taking, everybody wearing masks. But I have not heard anybody in, in this community or really any of the CEOs that I've been talking to talking about, we've got to uh, you know, get rid of people. And actually, I, I really hope that what has happened uh, changes the, the ethos of this country into um, realizing that the impact that this has had on, on the most vulnerable, on the people that are, are suffering the most, that has made it worse. And that there's more a sense of you know, the, the phrase that was being uh, used prominently, as you know, in the last year or two is responsible capitalism. So uh, from our standpoint, if we don't have, I, I hope that we don't have to lay anybody off other than I've mentioned, we've had to close some plants because of demand, but that's our objective. But I don't think anybody's thinking that way at this point in time. 